I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question and this question has come up from my student. Uh, my student has been asking me that whether can logarithmic function have a domain of all real numbers. So that is a very genuine and excellent question. So I thought let me just make a sketch for you. So we have two sketches here and they are actually two different functions. So f of x here is this dotted line which is a logarithmic function okay and g of x is also a logarithmic function you need to write their equations so the question here is graph of logarithmic functions f of x and g of x is given below write a possible equation of each explain your answer so that is the question for you so take your time pause the video answer and then look into my suggestion now f of x is kind of a constant you see that and there is no restriction. Can you have a logarithmic function which may be like this? Now let us see what this value is. This value is uh, equals to 3, right? So we need a logarithmic function whose value is 3. That is what it is for all real numbers. It means we are looking for a constant. Do you understand? It is kind of a constant y equals to 3. Now logarithmic function, I don't want y equals to 3, a straight line. I need a logarithmic function. So that could be log, let us say f of x equals to log of what? If the base is 10, uh, I mean, we want log of uh, something, log of x, we want 3, right? So what is that x value? That is what we are looking for. Well, if the base is 10, then x value should be 10 to the power of 3. Do you understand? So, so that gives you an idea, right? How to write this function, right? So from all this, what we can conclude is our function f of x should be, should be what? Could be like this. So we could say f of x is equal to log 1000 or 10 to the power of 3. So what is the value of log 1000? Log 1000 is 3 for any value of x. You get the point. It's a constant function. Okay, so that is how we could write. We could also write another equation for this. We could even write this as log. If I take 2 as my base, then I could write 8 here because that is log 2 of 2 cube and that is equals to 3, right? So likewise, I can actually write many different functions. For these constant functions in log, they have no restriction. Do you get the point, right? So we could have logarithmic functions without any restriction. I hope that helps to understand the concept. Now let's look into the second function and try to write equation for the second function. Now here what we see is that the y intercept you can say here is is at y y inter I should say y I should not say y intercept. I'm saying the vertical asymptote. I'm sorry for that. Uh, vertical asymptote let me write down here is at x equals to minus 3. So x equals to minus 3 is vertical asymptote. That means that the whole graph has shifted 3 units to the left. Right? So therefore, we are looking for a function which is kind of x plus 3 inside. Is it okay? Because it's shifted 3 units to left. Now, it is important to find when is this function 1. That will give us an idea. So we find that it is 1 at 7. So at 7 it is 1. Let me say that this point is 7, 1. Now this 7, 1 is because it has moved 3 units to left. Since it moves 3 units left, it is 7, 1. If it was original function, it was 3 units to the right. So it must have been 10, 1, correct? So 10, 1, that means at 10 the value is 1, gives me an idea that the log function should be to the base 10. You get it? So, so I know now that g of x is log to the base 10 of x shifted 3 units left. So that becomes my function. Okay. Another test here is if I substitute minus 2 here, then what do I get? I will get log 10 of 1 which is going to be 0. It helps, right? So anyway, the critical point here to test is 7, 1. So if I substitute 7 here, we get 10. Log 10 of 10 is 1, and that is the only solution, correct? If we assume that this function is not stretched horizontally or vertically, right? So we are assuming here a function which is only translated horizontally. Okay. 
I hope with this example you understand that we can have a logarithmic function which has no restrictions on domain that will be a constant function and all these functions are constant functions written in log right so that is to be appreciated I hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best